everyone welcome back to another vlog so i'm just getting ready to film some videos like i just took a shower and washed my hair anyway so today i want to film my huge unboxing video yeah this is from like i think the past three weeks or so all right so this is kind of the behind the scenes of how i film unboxing i'm gonna do it here in my living room I've got my camera, so I'm just lining up the shot here to kind of see what's going to be in frame. And then this is what it actually looks like. I've got the boxes here. I'm going to put a chair here in the middle. Might have to do another lamp. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put another lamp back there to light up the background a bit more. Okay, so I have gotten ready. It's taken me almost like an hour to get ready. I don't know why. I just wanted to do like my makeup really nice. I still have to put on a lipstick, but I want to drink something before. I basically just did my hair. What I did is I just basically let my hair air dry until it was basically like 90% dry. Um, and then the last bit I just used my Dyson and a round brush. Honestly, I love the Dyson. It is so efficient. Okay, so I finished my unboxing and this is what the chaos looks like. <gasps> uh, okay, so I have to put all this down to the recycling, but luckily, uh, cardboard is getting picked up tomorrow. So we are just sitting down to dinner and I thought I would show you guys what we're having. We're having something super simple and easy. So just a green salad, like a mixed green salad with cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and some of the ramson leaves and a homemade dressing, of course. And then here I have a burrata cheese. Um, so if any of you guys uh, don't know this or have never tried it, you need to go to an Italian store and get one. They are just so good. This weekend we are having a party at our house. It is our birthdays. So my birthday is on April 27th and my husband's is on April 29th. So we invited a bunch of our friends around for a get together on Saturday. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a huge ginormous cheese platter. And with the cheese platter, I love to make this homemade fruit bread. So this is the mixture that I've already made. Now this is basically just all the dried fruit and I have soaked this now for a couple hours with the spices. So I used like a spice mix and then there's also Cointreau in here. So Cointreau is a orange liqueur orange peel in here lemon zest um there's nuts in here as well so i used like tons of different these are all dried fruit so there's like apricots apples mangoes prunes raisins and this smells so good there's also vanilla in here and this is going to turn into a bread and this tastes absolutely incredible with the cheese and it's better to make this ahead like if you make this like a week ahead, it tastes like perfect on the day when you're gonna have it. And then this is the dough part that I've already made. So this is like a yeast dough, but there's only like actually a very, very small amount of dough. Um, most of the bread is actually made with the fruit. Okay, so this is what the cake looks like when it's in the form. Now I've actually doubled the recipe and this cake form is really cool because you can slide it apart. Good morning, everyone. So today is actually my birthday, it's April 27th, and I just had the worst sleep ever. I'm feeling just extra tired right now, couldn't, oh my god, I was awake until like the early hours of the morning. But this morning I have a business call that I just need to make. Yeah, I'm just making a coffee here, and hopefully this will wake me up because I have actually a ton of stuff to get done today work day as usual because we're having a party on saturday and i think i'm gonna take most of friday off to prepare for it oh god if this doesn't wake me nothing will this is like the strongest bodum coffee ever best thing is you can do business calls and your bathrobe and you don't you can look like absolute crap and still be professional <laughs> Hello. I am making tomato soup from scratch because I love tomato soup lately. I've been eating it loads. It's so easy, super healthy. Okay, so here's my finished soup. I just put some fresh chives on and some sour cream in the middle. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. Hi everyone, so today is Friday and I've decided to take the day off from YouTube stuff. It was basically just, I wanted to take the day off today to prepare for our party on the weekend. So yesterday I needed to catch up on all the things that I wasn't gonna be able to do today. So it was just kind of like, a busy work day and then just like a quiet evening when I got up I looked out the window and I was like Nature are you fucking with me or what's going on? Look at this. 
Yes, that white stuff that you're seeing is not icing sugar. It is snow. I mean, it's starting to thaw and melt and stuff. It won't stick, but I just, I just can't believe it. Um, hello, to sleep in, and now I'm gonna get ready. Well, I don't think I'm even gonna put on makeup and stuff because later today, my husband and I are gonna have to clean the whole house. Our fucking cleaning service canceled on us last minute, so I ended up firing them. First world problems, but um, it's not okay if you have a cleaning service and then they cancel last minute, and it's not the first time it's happened. It's happened a few times, and I've been counting on them, and they ended up canceling like last night, really late at night, so I ended up just said, look, don't. Okay, fine, don't come, but then don't ever come back. I actually scheduled them to come in today so that they can clean the house, I can get my shopping done and stuff while they're cleaning, and uh, now that's not happening, so I'm gonna have to end up cleaning myself. It's not that I don't mind cleaning, but it's like when you're relying on someone and then just, they don't show up, it's like, you know, just go away. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay you anymore for that. Now I'm just making myself a coffee and then I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I have to go to two grocery stores, come back here, start cleaning, and then I need to start prepping some of the food, obviously, for tomorrow, so some of the things can be made ahead. Oh my god, you guys, so... <sighs> We're trying to do too many things at once because I just burnt the fucking pot. That hasn't happened to me in years. I'm steaming the potatoes. We're making a potato salad, so I was steaming the potatoes. And I thought my husband was watching, but he's outside grilling the vegetables for tomorrow. So I was in the back uploading my YouTube video and doing that stuff, and I totally forgot about the stuff in the front. So now the pot is like black. The pot, basically I have to throw the pot away. I smell a little bit like campfire. Oh, I think I have to throw all these potatoes away. Which means we have to run to the store and get more potatoes. It's such a waste of food, like an entire bag of potatoes. I have to throw them away. Tastes disgusting. I also bought these um, Gerber Daisy today because I want to put these on the table in these funny vases and you know, I bought them like late today so I thought they'd be like fine tomorrow and I think they're already starting to droop. Like how freaking annoying is that? These things had better not be like drooping like this tomorrow. We'll see. Oh yeah, and my husband has grilled all these vegetables. These look so good, so we're gonna eat those cold tomorrow. I always think that is so yummy. I always like to put this on top. It's like a thickened, it's like a balsamic glaze. And we're gonna put them on a nice platter. Like not like this, I'm not gonna serve them like this. Put it on a nice platter and then use this and put it like all over the top. Okay, so I've just taken the fruit crumble out of the oven. This is a strawberry rhubarb apple fruit crumble. I've actually used a recipe that I have posted also on my blog. We've ironed the tablecloth. I just wanted colorful so I had it had this one. This is actually a tablecloth that we got in the south of France and then this is a yellow one. This one I got I think last summer at H&M Home. Uh, this is another thing that we're gonna have tomorrow. It's a potato salad and this is such an amazing recipe. It's really, really good. Um, and it's gonna soak overnight. So you can see like the dressing is here, but the potatoes soak up all the dressings and then it's like really rich and yummy tomorrow. Oh my God, this is my absolute favorite. 10.43, we have finished all the food. I've cleaned my bathroom. Tomorrow I need to just bake the cake. I'm exhausted guys, I'm so exhausted. So I think now I'm just gonna quickly do my nails because these are looking really bad. Although I don't know if I'll put on polish, maybe I'll just put on a clear layer because I still have to bake the cake tomorrow. So our friends are coming at 4.30 so I have to make the cake in the morning and then um, set it in the fridge to chill. Finish setting the table, do like the cheese plate and uh, the meat plate. So I'll show you tomorrow a little bit of the food and stuff, but then once our friends are here, I'm not gonna film. And hopefully I, will, I can show you some of our um, birthday cake. Cause I'm, I'm attempting something that I've never done. It's like a three tier cake. I've never, I've never done that in my whole life, so. Let's try it. If it fails, then there won't be a dessert. <laughs> well, then we'll all have to share the crumble. This is so much work. The thing is, when I invite people, we always make everything ourselves. Like, I don't just buy ready-made food. I just don't do that. It's worth it in the end, because we always have such a good time. Today is the day of our party, and I didn't vlog this morning because it was so hectic. I was making the cake and then suddenly my digital scale wasn't working so I had to borrow it from my neighbor. A little bit hectic but we are all done now and oh my god, we are so ahead of time. We still have like almost 45 minutes until the guests 
get here. And I did my makeup and I did my hair and I used the Dyson uh, hair dryer just to blow dry it. Basically it's just a blow up. Honestly if you're someone who has been thinking about getting the Dyson, like if it's within your budget and you've been kind of thinking should I get it or not, I can only say that I am so happy with mine. Like I did this blowout and it was just such a cinch to do in no time at all so i absolutely love that tool and i think it totally gives a different look than if i used a straightener or anything and then for the makeup um i'm using actually the peach palette on my eyes and then the lipstick is called juice it and it's by smashbox nyx uh strobe of genius for the highlight and then the blush is one of the new kiko blushes that i showed in my unboxing it's from the summer collection these earrings which are also you can't get them anymore <laughs> uh these were by Tallulah too and i love them they're these chandelier earrings and that's the only jewelry i'm wearing the vegetable I'm gonna just put some of the balsamic glaze like on top at the very end and then yeah We've got a couple plates of that. Uh, this is the fruit bread. I haven't cut that up yet I'll show you that when it's cut up and then we have our cheese board here We haven't put all of them on like this. We're gonna wait till the end because they're a little bit soft This is a chevre. It's like a French goat cheese Murgella. So it's like smoked cheese. This is also smoked cheese. These are little uh, mozzarella balls um, and then this is like Swiss cheese and uh, this one is a French cheese and then this back here is a Pineapple cheese actually this is really good and it has nuts on it. This is a cheddar um, And then here we are cooking um, some ham two big hams in there Potato salad in here. We have to serve that in like a nice bowl and then this is the fridge We've got the cake down here. I need to frost that a second time. It looks pretty janked because the cake got kind of ruined. I am never ever doing a recipe for a cake without using parchment paper. I sprayed the pan, I did everything correct, but then the cake kind of just fell apart. So we have like meat platters here and um, lots of alcohol, so white wine and beer and stuff. And then we have also, we made iced tea and we have more iced tea here. So there's iced tea there. These are two full iced teas. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I sent my husband to go get bread this morning and I think he came back a little bit too enthusiastic. This is way too much bread. There's no way we're gonna eat all this. It's pan payas, which is my favorite, and then tzupfe, which if you're Jewish, you might know it. It's like the challah bread. We eat that in Switzerland too. It's called tzupfe, which means just braid, basically. Okay, so here's the cake. It tastes really good. Like I had a little bit of the piece that fell off, but like here the middle, it's a three-tier layer cake. And this middle layer completely broke as I was turning out of the pan. So always use parchment paper. But I think what I'm gonna do is, because I still have quite a lot of frosting left, I'll do a second layer of frosting and try and cover this up, because honestly, I think it'll be fine. All right, guys, look at that cake. I'm so proud. So I'm just gonna put the candles on when I serve. This is gonna go back in the fridge. I put the sprinkles on. Okay, so here is the table. Woo! Uh, we're 12 adults and two kids. That's all we could fit. <laughs> we couldn't invite any more people because we didn't have enough space. Um, well, unless we did like a standing party, but I don't know, I just didn't want to stand around. And these little candies uh, were from the P.O. unboxing. I ate one and then I said, oh, I don't want to eat them all. So I put them on the table. I think they're funny. The rest of the gardenias which remained because look at those over there. Aren't those pathetic? They're all hanging. I think like half of the gardenias basically, I can throw those away tomorrow. Um, but the other ones, the ones that were left, I put them on the table. I will never buy, not gardenias, Gerber daisies. I will never buy them ever again. What a waste. bread that I made. Look, it's been soaking for a week. It's even good after like two weeks. Um, you can see how inside it's like solid fruit and nut basically. It's so good. With cheese, this is so delicious. All right guys, so this is the finished cake. Um, all our guests are here, but we're just about to serve this. So I'm gonna light the candles and then bring it over. So it says, happy birthday. I know it's kind of reversed, but I thought it just looked better. So yeah, that's the cake. Half past midnight and our guests left maybe like half an hour ago or 40 minutes ago so it ended up being a really long party but it was really fun and actually what we did is we were having drinks outside like the cocktails before we had them outside and then it was such nice weather we decided to move the entire 
tables outside on the patio so we were actually able to sit outside and like have the party outside so it was really fun and then for dessert we came back in so we moved all the tables back in because <laughs> it was cold so it's really cool having like a big place where you can do that because our patio is so big so, yeah we got got lots of gifts here we got um gift cards to a lot of places which is nice i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do this now like this is all still has to be done in the kitchen it's still a mess, but I'm just too tired now. So we're gonna do all the cleaning tomorrow, but I wanted to end the vlog here and I hope you guys had fun watching it. If you did, I'd, li I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. I'm so tired, I can't think. And also check out the playlist if you wanna see more vlogs. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon, bye.